Hi everyone, this is Holly from Hot Humble Pie. Welcome to my spring series. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you click that button. I'm going to start with this Dollar Tree Easter egg here. I just went ahead and gave it one coat of homemade white chalk paint. I've got a video on that. It will be linked down below in my description box. I made a video about a year and a half ago or two years and it was an excellent recipe but that ingredient is a little hard for some people to find so I made another one that works just as well and you can check it out if you're interested. I'm also using these Dollar Tree little wood bunny cutouts and I'm taking their lightweight spackling. I mixed it with a little bit of paint to make it a little heavier because it was a bit too fluffy for me and I'm filling in the holes on the top of those bunny ears and then I decided to take some white chalk paint and add a little bit of the apple barrel pink paint to it just to get a super super soft pink and gently dry brush this egg. And now using a utility knife and this metal ruler, you can use any ruler, you can use anything that's straight and hard. I'm just scoring the board. I'm putting little grooves in it to give it shiplap lines. I just think that looks more realistic than drawing it on. Sometimes I'll draw it on, it just depends. But lately I've really enjoyed the look of scoring the board and I do it twice to make them really deep too so they look real. And now using some antique wax, and you can use any brand antique wax you want for this method. I'm just distressing the edges of this egg a little bit. I'm painting it on and then using a little bit of tissue to wipe it off and make it a little bit blurry and muted. I just like that look for this particular craft. Sometimes I leave it straight on there. It doesn't matter. It's totally personal preference. You can do whatever you want. And I'm using the same brush that has very little wax left on it. And I'm just adding a little bit of, you know, distressing and shadows and character to the front of the egg as well. And now using some of the Dollar Tree florals, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of place them and cut them where I want them to be on the top of this. I'm leaving this in because a lot of you ask me to do that because I guess I used to just show the finished result. <laughs> and there was a bunch of you that came on and said, could you please show us how you're, you know, doing the flowers because that helps give me ideas as well. So that's how I do it. I just kind of cut and, you know, bend their wires. So I bend the flowers down a little bit to take the shape of the egg. I'm putting a little bit more hot glue on top. And then I'm adding a floral bow with some ribbon that I got 50% off at Hobby Lobby. And now I'm adding just the center there to cover the twine that I wrapped in the middle to make the bow. If you wanna know how I make my bows, I made a video about that that covers every single bow I ever make in any video so that I didn't have to do a mini tutorial in each video to save you guys time. And that video is time stamped. So if you wanna see which bow I made, that one's just a two loop bow. It's really simple and you can check it out on that video. So now I'm taking some sandpaper. I just sanded a little bit where I did the spackling and I'm taking some of the wax and a baby wipe and I'm gonna stain these bunnies. Now the spackling did not stain as well as the wood. It kind of resisted the stain. So to compensate for that, you'll see that I darken the tip of the bunny ears, kind of darken the back, the top of the bunny, and I put a little shadow in the center to kind of define the two separate ears as well and it comes out really, really cute. So now I'm taking a blow dryer and I'm just giving my bunnies a quick blow dry because the wax doesn't dry as fast as a stain would or as a water-based stained would. I used to use one that I absolutely loved, but I'm not buying it because I'm trying to use what I have. And for those of you that watch my channel, I lost everything in my craft room. So we are definitely using what we have here and I got the wax for Christmas. And of course, it's always so much more fun to craft when you can do it on the cheap. So I encourage you guys to do that too, especially with the Dollar Tree prices going up and everything going up. The wax and water-based stained, there are some different applications that I prefer one or the 
other over, but it work. You know, I can make it work, and if I end up using that application in the future, I will show you guys how you do it and make it work. So I just took some Spanish moss. I put it on this egg here. I'm just cutting it as flush as you know I can with the egg without causing bald spots. But when I turn it over, I see this metal buddy, and I'm like, oh, cool! I am using that for the next DIY. So that will be the next upcoming DIY. And now we're just going to take a little hairspray, mist that Spanish moss so it doesn't crumble all over my floor when it's hanging on my wall. And that's it. I think this came up so, so cute. It's got such soft Easter spring colors. It's perfect for farmhouse, cottage, or primitive crafts. And I hope you guys like it too. Let me know what you think in the comments. <music> Now at my Dollar Trees, you can find these little puzzle kits here in the kids section and the back of them are wood and they make great pieces of wood for signs. And I've got this as a free printable down below in my description box. I'm gonna go ahead and make a cute sign out of this. Now you can handle this several ways. You can take the letters out on the back and glue them back in if you want it nice and flat. I just took mine out because I actually think I might use those letters for a future DIY and I didn't worry about it. I covered my back with a little bit of cardstock and called it a day, but no one's going to be seeing the back of this anyway. It's going to be up on my mantle this year. I'm using a little bit of Mod Podge and a Dollar Tree sponge and I'm just trying to keep it where I want my image to be. I'm going to glue this down and you're going to see me here in a minute decorate this frame. This is a fun method that I've shown in previous videos. If you just want to dress up your frames a little bit and make them a bit fancier, you just use a hot glue gun and you make little twirls and swirls and pretty little designs all around your frame. And then I'm going to show you how you go about bringing that out. And for those of you that are intimidated to do this, please don't be because it really doesn't have to be perfect. You can even go over, like if one area is too flat, you can go over it again. You can remelt the glue, lots of different ways. And it seems like anything that you do just adds that little bit more character to your frame. So don't be nervous to try this, just go for it. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of my white chalk paint. Now it, I pour, this is the, uh, homemade chalk paint here but I pour it in the other container because it's got a nice lid for I, I just didn't again I guess I'm trying to recycle and use everything I have so this is I think it says it's folklore chalk paint but it's not it's my homemade inside that jar but anyway I'm just taking my sponge here and just painting over everything you can, well, you can see what I'm doing I'm just painting over my little design kind of smushing the paint all around the edges again if some wood is peeking out don't worry about it the more imperfect it is the more perfect and really pretty it's going to look when you're done and now I'm taking a tissue not a baby wipe I'm just using a tissue here and a little bit of the wax and I'm gently going over all my little swirls on the surface and then now and again I'm just kind of moving down below the swirls to get the wood area and you just get this beautiful result that like I said really dresses it up and makes it look more expensive I also purposely hit the edges of the paper and you know instead of tearing it I kind of hit the edges a little bit with white chalk paint you don't have to do this you can either do it neat or you can tear the paper it's up to you I just like it that way and when I'm happy with the final look here, I'm going to make a stand for this. And I'm going to make it a little bit higher because this is a bigger sign and it's going to need more support. So I glue four of the towering blocks on top of each other, two side by side, and then glue it on the side to make the letter L. And then I glue that one at an angle. And I do that just by piling up hot glue underneath so that it sits at an angle because I want my sign to lean backwards. This is going to be on my mantle. And I did miss this with hairspray. By the way, just those of you who are at, sometimes you ask, did you seal that? Sometimes it's clear polyacrylic, sometimes it's hairspray, this time it's hairspray. And here's that bunny from the first DIY. I thought this was so cute. This is why I put the image a little bit lower. It adds a nice rustic touch and we're all done. <music> Thank you. 
This next DIY is really easy. I don't even know if we can call it a DIY, but I wanted to show it separately because I'm using it in upcoming DIYs a couple of times here. And I did, I painted all of these eggs at one time. So they were the styrofoam eggs from the Dollar Tree. They had a bow on the bottom. I took the bow off and then I put them back on their stake. And then I'm just kind of tapping that sponge in there because that way you get into all the little crevices because it is a little bumpy. And I smooth it out and then I put it in a jar like that for all of them to dry. Once they were dry, I dry brushed on some of the antique wax onto each one of the eggs. I think I left two, no three where I just left it white because I made them blue. But this was, well, I'm trying to imitate or copy some wild eggs that I saw online of real bird eggs. And this is, you know, it did come out looking identical. I wish I had gotten the name of the eggs actually, which species that was, but you just tap that blue on from the Dollar Tree. I bought some acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree that was blue. It was more like a glaze, so if you, use a blue make sure it's a soft turquoise blue like that color right there and you just tap it on and I also tapped it on this one where I just left it white I did three of these so that I just had a soft blue with little speckles of darker blue in it and I think they came up absolutely gorgeous they really do look like wild eggs so that was for the next DIY here this is a sign I got at Walmart it's a Christmas sign and it was 90% off so I think I only spent gosh it was below a dollar I think it was actually 70 something cents I'm not sure it may have been 95% off I remember thinking it was cheaper than the Dollar Tree and I thought it would make a super cute Easter DIY now I'm doing the same method I did in the video before this one and I wanted to do it again a lot of you absolutely loved it in the comments including me I loved it I it worked out way better than what I thought I had it idea like all of us do with crafting we try something sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and this is a great method for a faux birch wood but I put that DIY on my front door so I wanted it inside my house so what you do is you just take two pieces of tissue you know how they're two ply you peel them apart you put one layer down you can put it on top of any flat surface this works great for flat surfaces I can't vouch for any cylinder shape I've never tried it I think it would work but you'd probably have to glue them together on, you know where the two ends meet on the other side in order for it to work I'm not sure but that's how I would approach it now it does stick to this Dollar Tree pan here it's no big deal you just cut it off and then I'm cutting around the edges and you'll see me take some sandpaper to clean those edges up really nice and clean but you get this nice hard faux bark look I guess and I sand the top of it it kind of shreds the pieces that are like up too high which makes it look even more legit like bark and it works great and it's super fast and easy and you can put any I mean the possibilities are endless you can use any colors you want make any kind of wood you want super easy way to make faux wood so I'm using gray here any brand of paint any color gray would work for this I do a little dry brushing of that to bring out those designs and now I'm using the antique wax brown paint would probably work for this the water-based stain would work for this anything and if you add those little knots like I show in my video on how to do DIY uh, check that out too that's a great DIY easy birch wood uh, and definitely works on cylinder shapes um, if you do the little knots like that you have a birch wood right here or whatever kind of wood you want so I was really really excited about it and of course with this one you can add the little hole this is what I did on the, the video last time I did the little hole I wanted to show you guys I just use wax and the gray paint you can make a little bird hole I wanted to leave this really plain this time I think I might either take a wine cork or a little piece of wood cut it down maybe I have to think I'm still thinking about it and glue it on the front like a little perch I'm not sure I kind of like it the way it is but I'm taking the Spanish moss and I created a little nest I actually made an indentation there so that I put my eggs inside it and I'm going to trim it so that it stands up straight this is one of those DIYs though that my family loves it so much that nobody wants me to change it that's why I'm kind of hesitating on what I want to do let me know what you think in the comments down below if I should add that little like perch or not but I just add some lavender I add my faux eggs and that's it and this is absolutely gorgeous I hope the camera does it justice it's a perfect like fit for cottage farmhouse primitive French country you name it but I absolutely love it.
for this next DIY here, we're going to be using that Dollar Tree candle stick right there, taking the price tag off and the little tray. I believe that is a candle holder tray. It doesn't come under dishes if you're looking for it. It comes under a candle holder. So I'm taking some of the Gorilla Super Glue here because I want a permanent hold. And I'm just going to put little dots of it here and there. And then I'm going to put little dots of the hot glue in between that glue. I don't mix it because I've done that before. And sometimes that absolutely messes it up. It makes everything dry instantly and it won't hold. But the hot glue obviously holds it in place instantly so that I can start painting it. And then the other one holds it permanently. So I'm going to glue that in the center. And when it dries, I'm going to give it one coat of chalk paint. I'm going to do the top first and let that dry, put it to the side, and then I'll, you'll see me flip it over later and do the underside. So I found these really gorgeous ceramic eggs at the Dollar Tree this year. They had different letters on them. I chose the one with M because I thought that would be great to give to your mother. Or if you have a last name, of course, or a first name that starts with M, it's perfect. But to be honest, even if I didn't have a last name or first name or a mother, I still would just purchase... I, I wanted to purchase a couple of them with different letters on because I just think it looks really cool and antique-ish. And I think, I'm not sure but I'm like 90% sure that if you took some hard grit sandpaper, you probably could sand this flat if you didn't want the letters on it and just have like a flush, you know, not have the letter there at all if you didn't like it, but I liked it, so I left it. And I'm giving it one coat of chalk paint and I'm setting that aside and while that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my little, uh, I guess mini little tr tear tray there. That's not a tear tray, that's just a riser, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have any tears, you guys. It has only one tray. So that's just a stand, like a little mini stand. And I'm adding the gray color to distress it. I love that look with these little mini risers or little mini trays. I think that is so cute, the gray and white. And for the egg, I chose to use the antique wax, brush it on, and kind of wipe it off to mute it and soften it again and blur it and make it look pretty. I'm just going for a really soft, muted look this time in this video looks that cross over into the cottage core farmhouse french country even primitive because primitive does use a little color for the holidays and that way you know i've been getting so many requests and so many varied requests i thought i would do a video that crosses over to all the different genres so everybody can have something that they can make so here i'm using the lace from hobby lobby i cut it down the center there to make it thinner and it was 50% off. I won't buy any ribbon at Hobby Lobby or Michael's unless it's 50% off because it's way too expensive. But when it's on sale, it's pretty close to the Dollar Tree, so I treat myself. And I just glue that on top and then a little cream silk flower from the Dollar Tree on top to cover the twine. And then as you see, I put the Spanish moss down, separated it in the middle so that my egg would sit nice and flat. And I'm gluing those little eggs I made around it. Now I ran into some problems trying to put complete whole eggs all the way around sideways it just didn't look right so how I approached that was to cut them in half and then just glue them down that way then I take my scissors trim around the edges and that's it I absolutely love this DIY and of course I would love to know which ones were your favorites today in this video If you had fun and enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please comment. I love reading your comments. I read each and every one that is seriously the best part of doing YouTube for me and I try to answer as many as I can. And of course, as always, until the next video, breathe deep, fret not, and do things that make you happy.